Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about the our ODS-3 adapter and the Smith Pivlock Arena with the snow goggle and the insert uh, for purposes of one of our patients at Colorado Eye Center. Um, so we're having troubles with the adapter and coming out of the goggle. Uh, we're going to do some close-in shots to show you how that adapts and switch it to the Pivlock Arena and show you how that adapts with a different adapter. So pulling this out, sometimes it'll um, separate from its adapter piece, which is inside here. You can see this little plastic piece there. Uh, that we need to wiggle out just by kind of yanking on one side and pulling on the other. This one kind of just came out easy uh, because I was yanking on it a little bit earlier but I'm gonna adapt that to the ODS-3 and kind of show you how that goes in. So there we have a slot that's crescent, which is matching this area down there. You're gonna go ahead and insert that into the crescent area and make sure that it snaps all the way in. You can hear it snap, you can see it's facet on the top there. Now let's go ahead and open this goggle up here. Okay, so there's the two prongs, the grabbers. Um, you're going to notice that in your goggle, let's see if we can get a good close up of this. In your goggle, there's going to be an area right bef right after the mask itself that has uh, some ledge and lip there and then you have the nose pad above here so this lip right there is where that adapter uh, connects in so what you're going to do is start on one side make sure it goes beyond that lip and you can kind of see it you can kind of see that arm going where that lip is. It's kind of hard to see in the video. I'll try to get a better angle of it. Um, so take one side, make sure it's secure, and then with your other finger, make sure it goes around the other lip, and then slide in. And then that is the perfect setting for how that looks in a goggle. And you can tell by me wiggling this that it actually stays positioned. It doesn't move to one side or roll to one side, it stays pretty secure in there. Um, I'll give you, I'll try to get a close up of where that is. So there's the lip. Kind of hard to see with all these black parts. There's the lip right there. There's shiny black. There's a lip that that feeler or grabber goes around. So I'm going to take this out. The way to take it out is grab the inner sides and pull. There, this adapter piece, all the adapter pieces are really secure, so you can kind of be rough with it a little bit. Put it in one more time. There's that little lip right there. See it? You can see it on white. There it is right there. And then, so one side's in. Go to the other side lip it into the other lip which is right there right there let's take it out all right so that's the goggle with ODS 3 and with this goggle adapter piece here okay now the way this connects to the stock 
um, Pivlock series, you take out this nose pad. You see that it has one solid piece nose pad. There's no um, there's no additional areas for this to adhere to or uh, adapt to. Um, so you're gonna want to take this out. The easiest way to take that out for me. So you can squeeze that back in. It squeezes in there, squeezes in there, locks in. So grab, twist, and that's that piece. So there's one bevel area for this shield to go inside of. Um, now your adapter for the ODS-3. So, we found out that there are two different adapters for the ODS-3 going into the Pivlock series um, shield here for the nose pad. Um, you'll find the one we were working with having more of a um, square arch than more of a arrowed arch and um, we don't I don't know this one was probably for the ODS 2 uh, which is no longer being manufactured um, the ODS 2 was just like the ODS 3 except it was semi rimless on the bottom without a frame with a um, wire holding it in um, so on the guide here for the Pivlock series, it shows you how to, so this V90 and the V90 Max actually have that square um, adapter piece, but it works the same, same concept. Um, hold the frame, pull down and twist, and then putting on, it shows the our ODS-2 or ODS-3 adapter um, already installed with the nose pad and then the nose pad and the ODS just going into the shield. We're going to try that. See how that works. Okay, I'm not using this one. So, this goes on there and just snap. Wiggle it around to make sure it's secure and it is. And then grab your shield. Like that. Squeeze a little bit. Push up. Let's try putting it in. Rotated already. So that's rotated and then twist in. Alright, that's the hardest way to put it in. The directions of what I just read, maybe I read it wrong, but my easiest way of putting it in is without the adapter in, and then on that first area there, squeeze and twist in. Oops, fumbling here. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you exactly. There's a notch here. This little notch area. You want that to go on top of that area there first. So, alright, the notch is in there. You can see the remaining piece there. Twist in. Twist and push. That's the easiest way. As you can see all the fumbles we made here. And then the ODS-3 just goes in its place where you see fit. Right there. Level out with your fingers. That seems pretty even and that's how you wear that. And then I'll quickly show you reversing this, taking this off 
you can leave this alone putting the adapter piece for the goggle back in oh, backwards it only goes in one way there's our goggle that's how easy it is push it make sure it's springy that's how you know that it's locked in that's it